Having travelled thousands of miles to reach Bethlehem this Christmas, these pilgrims are just a few steps away from their goal. They're in the crypt under the Church of the Nativity, and they've come to worship at the very spot where it's said Jesus was born. The faithful believe that at the centre of this silver star is the stone Mary was lying on as she gave birth. But in Bethlehem this year, there is a new attraction that worshippers also believe dates from that time and this place. Protected by a silver case is a relic purported to be a wooden fragment of the manger in which the newborn Jesus was placed. It's a very special Christmas. As always, every time God gives us a new present. <laughs> uh, and this is his present for us. We are grateful to, to God. We are grateful for everybody who helped in this. And uh, God bless everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. <laughs> the wooden fragment was sent from the Vatican earlier this month and the faithful believe it arrived back in Bethlehem after an absence of 1,400 years. In the middle of the 7th century, the revered manger was sent to Rome as a present to the Pope. The relic's return here was greeted with much fanfare and ceremony, a boost to Bethlehem at the town's most important time of year. Originally, the Palestinian Authority asked the Vatican to return what's believed to be the manger in its entirety. But the Pope refused, making the case it's too fragile to move. So here they have had to make do with just a small fragment instead. It may be small, but it has helped make this the best Christmas in Bethlehem for 20 years. Record numbers of visitors have come here to see a newly renovated Church of the Nativity and the history it contains. Here is the capital of Christmas and here is the uh, celebration that uh, we try always to improve and to make it better and to bring the joyful and happiness to the people. Theirs was a visit made memorable by the place, the time of year, and the return home of an invaluable piece of the Christmas story. The story that begins right here. Hallelujah! John Irvine, News at 10, in Bethlehem.